Hello, and welcome back to the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. I am Zyda Rose for Game Shampoo. I certainly hope you enjoyed Probat and I uh, going over the uh, long history of uh, Pokemon. As, oh boy, is it a thing. Let's see how we doing. Huh, three and a half hours already. Well. And honestly, I did some off-screen grinding. What do you want, Wade? Oh, wait. You're cool. You're cool. You got a thing. What's this? Oh, hey. Found some berries. That's awesome. we are waiting for me on Route 31. Well, uh, that is very cool. But that's not the main thing going on here. No, no, it is time to go and take on the gym leader. I took a little time off screen and put some effort into the crew. The Lady Best is now level 12. A nice improvement over where she started. Binem got him up to 15. And Oboro, well, she's rocking at 12. But uh, yeah, she's gonna be sending this fight out. In case it wasn't already obvious, yeah. Oboro is not gonna be fighting. That is my bug type. This is a flying gym. I can tell you how many ways that is bad. Well, you know, mostly just I'm at the type disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, it's not just grass. It is grass. Grass and bug are the grass bug fighting are the ones that immediately jump to mind that I know I need to worry about. All right. Yes. I must fight trainers to reach Faulkner. All right. Bird Keeper Aid. Reveals a Spiro. I send out Best. Best, give them a bite. Do you like it? Are they tasty? Oh, crap. I did not completely revert my settings from, uh... Now, when you're doing a lot of grinding, you will turn off animations because it speeds things up. Of course, it's really, really boring to watch. Okay. Cool. All right. Money goes to mom. Money to mom is... No, it has unlocks. It has a... options. Battle scene. Back on. Confirm. I learned. Always remember to hit confirm. That. Okay. All right. Who's next? What you got? Best was able to handle all your friends' Pokemon with ease. Show me what you got, baby. Bring it on, trainer. What do you? Ah, God. Pidgey. A level seven Pidgey. This is my level 12 Rattata the best. Because Joey doesn't get to have the best Rattata. We get the best Rattata. I get the best Rattata. And we all get to indulge in watching its glory. Oh, another Pidgey. Oh no, what am I going to do? It's exactly the same level. I'm starting to feel like I overprepared a little. Not just an okay feeling in a, a Nuzlocke. You want that feeling once in a while? This means you're a little ahead of the curve. And getting ahead of the curve in any sense is usually a good thing. All right. It's time. Well, oh wait, right. check them on. Okay, yeah, barely down anything. That's what, three damage? And seven power points. Okay, yeah, not worried. Okay, you and me. Vest is very eager. Awesome! Okay, Faulkner. Let's see, with a jolt of electricity, I won't allow such insult. Uh, though it's true. Oh, if you wanted to get a little more creative, there's always Rock-type, which just kind of laughs as you attack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love using Rock-types on Flying-types. 
Uh, probably because I just imagine a little rack. Scrunch. Stuff like that. Alright, you do. Huh. Respectable damage. Unfortunately, I do more. Alright, the best is now level 13. And there we go. Ooh, Pursuit. That is another dark type move. Uh, give me the details. I forget how it breaks down. Doubles. Ah! It doubles damage if the opponent is switching out. Boost the critical or lowering defense. Uh, yeah. Now, at this point, focus energy actually does the thing it's supposed to and increases the uh, chance of a physical. Ah, critical hit. Way back in like Gen 1, 2, uh, yeah, they, they got some numbers wrong to say the least. Wait. Switch. What's going on? I could have sworn that had on set. Okay, I might need to double check more settings, but whatever. The wind is finally with us. Hmm. Oh, he has two. I have three. Benam, unleash the fiery. That is the water gun after you endure that gust of air. It would ruffle his hair if he had hair. Turbs his scales? That's about the best I can think of. Come on, Ben. You got this. Roost. Oh, you evil bird. Uh, roost is annoying. Though, it's also a double-edged coin, I can tell you that. Roost lets a flying-type Pokémon restore half its health. What it doesn't tell you is the Pokémon actually lands, so... It's actually vulnerable to ground-type moves, which normally... You know, flying-type is utterly immune to. Come on, Ben. You got this. Now I gotta heal you. I think it's just gonna keep roosting. Eh, it's getting too risky. Patch up, Ben. Patch up. There's Denam. You needed that. Okay. Pidgeotto and Ben are pretty much at the same. Oh, no, I still got the health advantage. Haha! Alright, let's change off. Oh, I'm slower, so bite isn't as useful. I'm pretty sure that did more damage. Even though bite isn't stab. Oh wait, is that a later? At a later point, uh, it might get strong jaw. Well, I'm pretty sure in all cases, the starters just get like uh, the booster abilities. Okay, taking a chance. Come on, baby. Yes. And Bin takes it. And now, we have beaten our first gym. Oh, wow, and there's still like quite a ways to go. Wow. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Hey, wait, they weren't even yours? What? Come on. All right, I, I will gladly accept your Zephyr badge. Sion appreciates it very much. Uh, okay. Yeah, trading is a thing that can happen here and there. Also enables the use of the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And I think that's the TM for Roost. Ah. Uh, uh, this was still at the time that they could only be used once. Huh. Azalea Town. Tell me about this. Okay. Nice to know you've got a solid plan. Try and become the best bird trainer. Alright, let's talk with you. Yep. Thanks for the encouraging words. 
Oh. Oh, auto answer. Cool. Yeah? So, but to carry that egg. Pokemart in Violet City. Could you meet him and pick up the egg? Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, that's where I am. And I want to go uh, to the Pokemart, which is right next door to where I am. Okay. What's this? Your mom, here you go. Oh, that's right. This is one of the additions in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. When you hit particular thresholds, giving your mom money, she actually gives you something. Huh. All right. Now I've got the egg. Awesome. That's Xeon. That's Xeon. I uh, hand this egg to you. That's why I came to deliver the egg to you. Huh. All right. Pokemon. And now I have a mysterious egg. It may be close to hatching. Oh no, it's got a ways to go, trust me. So, the egg hatches after quite a few steps. Ah, story, story, story! Ah, so it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Elm, and from Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg has traveled a ways. Ah, so she's the one who... Alright, yeah, you can count on me to take care of this egg. Just please let me heal my Pokemon. Oh, hey. Apricorn tree. I will take that apricorn. Yellow. I also look forward to the time when I can start converting those slowly into Pokeballs. I might take advantage of how the recording schedule works and stock up once I can. Given I can only get those, like, once a day. Also, what is that dude doing? He's... Oh, I think he gives me a tour. <sighs> well, I want to find out. It's about three years ago, thugs, Team Rock involved wrongdoing. They were abusing Pokemon. Bad things never last. Okay, so he's the one who gives me the summary about things. Shard to berry, shard to berry. I will trade berry for a shard. If you bring shards, I will give you three berry, yeah? Okay. Uh, right. Bucket gear. So, your take. Levine, bone rod, slowpoke. Well, ah, azalea is to the south. Oh, yeah. Actually, there's quite a bit. Yeah, there are a few places I haven't been, and I know it. Hmm. Huh? What? What's going on here? Why? Something's going on. Oh! Not 31. Okay. Wow, it's been a long time since I played this. Huh, yeah, imagine. I haven't really played through the story since the game first came out. And I covered it. Hmm. Go figure. Take on Faulkner. Oh yeah, that's right. I never actually did go into the dark cave. Hmm. Oh, I might have... Yeah, there's a good chance I've got a new Pokemon just waiting for me. I mean, yeah, I can grind stuff there. Alright, let's see if I can catch something here. Whoa. All right, and the encounter is with a Geodude. Okay, I don't care. I'm 10 levels higher. I am scared to even attack it, frankly, because there is a very good chance I could just murder it. 
Doesn't matter who I use, what I attack with, death would befall Geodude. Oh, hey. Now the Geodude is caught. And in mint condition, too. So if I do anything along those lines, I'd need to actually heal him. Alright. Let's see, it uses its arms to steadily climb steep mountain paths. It swings its fists around if angered. Alright. Give a nickname to the Geodude Agata. Alright, what is this lady's name? It begins with a... Oh, wow. S. Hmm, no, no, don't name things after your real life friends. Um... No, no, uh... Lion King stuff, not... Thinking of any ladies. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Reroll for seven. Give me a little extra help. Okay, yeah, I think I got something. Sigri. Siga. Sure, Siga. All right, welcome to the party, Siga. All right, now honestly, if I encounter another one... Oh, I could have got a Zubat. Yeah, I know Zubat are a dime a dozen. Not that's a really important dozen to kind of knock out of the park. The sooner you kind of do that, the easier your life gets, because then you just kind of go, okay, I don't care because my Pokemon are strong enough to just deal with the thing, and kill it, and I get all the rewards. Huh, yeah, level three. Okay, yeah, uh, Sega, you're not fighting that. Okay, best. Let's find out. Could I have actually used Quick Attack? All right, this isn't gonna be as great a gauge as I would like now, but it'll still give me the basics. Oh, huh, yeah, I could have. There's a fair chance I could have done that, and it would have survived. Not so much on that one, though. Okay, yeah. Alright. Hmm. Wow. They didn't really change that one up much for uh, Pokemon Uranium, I can say that. That's why it sounded familiar. <laughs> oh. Ew. Uh, do you just have tackle? Yeah, tackle and defense curl. Yeah, no, you need a rock move before you can take on any of those. Though that hoot hoot will give Sega some nice help. Ah, help. Yes, yeah, some good experience will come this way. <laughs> Excellent. And that's part of the reason why I stopped grinding there, because I just realized, no, I'm killing all the things, and the rate of growth has plateaued hard. Well, Sika is the only one who could get any benefit out of that, and it's not really worth it, frankly. Heal. Alright, let's make a push. That push is going to bring us south and head toward Azalea Town. It does also give me a chance to get another new buddy. It's going to be stronger than Siga. Siga's kind of a... Um... Yeah, Siga's not all that great right now. She has potential. Nope. 
Uh, I, I don't have a bell sprout. I haven't caught a bell sprout. I mean, it would be wonderful to get a victory bell eventually. That is awesome. Even though stone-based evolutions stop learning moves once you uh, evolve them. Annoying, but accurate fact. Ooh, 32. Actually... Hold on. Uh, yeah, there's just a quick double-checking. Yeah, 32. Runes of Elf. 36. 31. 30. Oh. Yeah, I also have, uh, Route 41. Okay, so yes. New route, Route 32. What you got for me? What's this say? Oh, Runes of Health, East Entrance. Huh. South to Azalea Town. Ooh, battle! There's a good Pokemon there. Yep. Yeah, it helped a lot. Oh, take this. Increases the power of grass type moves. I don't have a single grass type on my team, but appreciate it all the same. Onwards! Oh, <gasps> a Mareep! Oh, Crobat! Crobat would love this. Okay, um. Wow. That's a thing. It, my best bet really would be with Sega if she was stronger. Yes, lower my attack. Please. Makes it so I don't feel bad doing this. So there's a good chance you'll live. Nice. I can't do it again because it's pretty much guaranteed I'm gonna kill you. Unless you keep growling. If you growl a lot, I'll be able to attack you again. Down two, I need to take a full six for me to feel comfortable. Oh, holy crap, I just got a Mareep. Now, I really hope that uh, I can get this, keep this Mareep alive. These clothes continually fully, sh at least is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. Nickname to the cop Mareep. Yes, as stated, I have to. All right, the magic letter is nearly seven. That is three, six, seven. G. Hmm. Electricity related. Yeah, Gigas. Works for me. Actually, area. Oh wait, that's more Gigax. Gigax. Gigax! I like it. <sighs> Alright, uh, some quick healing is needed. As I sort of beat the crap out of the Mareep in a single shot. Honestly, that was pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Oh. You know what? I'm not honestly gonna worry about the Mareep. Yeah, the Mareep and the Geodude, they're both fine. Hmm. Eh, smacks of a hidden item. Ah. There we go. Nope. Alright, more battle! What awaits me here? Huh, a whooper. That'd been kinda cool. Uh, again, what am I doing? I am not doing what I'm supposed to. Oh yeah, I didn't actually check to see what the uh, Gigax knows. Cause, yeah. That, that would be good to know, in all honesty. Ooh, and yeah, this this should really help out Sega. Hey, already level three. 
All right, so I know what Sigurd can do. Let's check Gigax. Summary. All right, sturdy body, tackle and growl. Yeah, I need to get you an electric type move as soon as possible, frankly. Because, um, yeah, you need attacks that uh, can actually help you. And, um, tackle and growl are not going to do it. No. Just no. Straight up no with them. Such a healthy of nope. Hmm, a Rattata. Best? You are the best Rattata. Straight up, you are the best Rattata. So. Show them why you are the best. Because the lady is the best. And the best lady is best. I am having way too much fun with this. Oh, nice. Sika. Keep learning. Zubat. Switch. Bring back in Sika. When you're doing leveling, there is a lot of Pokemon juggling. Oh boy, so much. That's just how it goes. Sometimes, uh... Yeah, bring out the best again, because there are just times where that's the best option. I'm having way too much fun with this. Plus, you know, I really do get to say straight to Joey's face, I've got the best Rattata. It's in the name. It's in her name. Ooh, supersonic. That is not going to save you too much. Come on, best. Show him who's boss. That's right. That's why the lady is called the best. Confuse her? Nope. Doesn't stop her. Almost there. Cool. Alright. Oh, I know I'm not using the same Pokemon everyone is. Mine are pretty much just randomly determined. Hmm. Yeah, Sega is still not in a condition to fight those things. No, Oboro. Yeah, she could use a little love. Hmm. Sometime I might actually want to do the research. Let her dig around and, you know. Ooh. And that actually is why both Sega and Gigax should not fight Wooper. This Wooper. Oh, wait. Is that already water ground? I just one that was just water. Yeah, Wooper is really interesting in typing. Yeah. Because I know it's evolved form Quagsire has. You know, is a uh, dual type beam water and ground. Yeah, you're not getting much out of this, are you, Oboro? Okay. Well, still. Ooh, item. I don't want that item. Come to me, item. Alrighty. Come on, baby. Come on. Now, one of the last things I want to do is find out this thing already knows a water move. Well, if it's gonna know, if it knows when it's gonna use it here. No, no, instead it uses, uh, Mud Spark, which dampens electricity. That doesn't do a whole ton. Alright, come on, Ovaro. You got this, girl. Wow. A critical hit did, uh, more damage. Ooh, Sega is now hit level 6. Sega has caught up with Gigax. Hmm, Repel. Those are useful. That item, when used, prevents 
me fighting Pokemon which are below the lead party member's level. You can get a kind of a similar effect if you put a Pokemon with Intimidate up front. But right now I don't have any Pokemon that know Intimidate. No, no, I just have Pokemon who understand uh, how to deliver a solid whooping. Well, I do need to deliver a whooping on this whooper. Because, oh boy, it's getting mud everywhere. Boro is not happy about it. No, she's gonna have to clean up before she goes back in the Pokeball. It's really annoying. Well, why do you keep using Mud Sport? Really wish I could catch one just to see, like, what they've got. I mean, the only other way for me to find out is to, you know, consult resources. Ooh, another Mareep. Well, I know what it knows, which is Tackle and Growl. Let's see... That should do much, and my Tackle should do much more. And now you've paralyzed Sega. So that's not really worth it. Alright, uh, best if you would please step in... All right, best, please, bite its head off, if you would. <laughs> yeah, well. Best is also rather rapidly catching up to, uh, Bin. Oh, nice, Sega's... Yeah, and Sega's growth is going to be slowing down now. Hmm. You look like someone. Oh wait, Pokemon battle, I'm on the phone. All right, I'll accept your challenge. Okay, oh, wait, that's a, oh, Picnicker. Nidoran, female. Okay, uh, best is, oh. Best to do okay, or Boro actually do pretty solid here. I mean, I incidentally need to worry about poison point, so. Actually, yeah, that's every reason to bring in Oboro. As Oboro is immune to poison. Aha! Bug poison! So that also means that uh, Oboro is hit with poison type attacks for neutral. Mm, win some, lose some. Yeah, it's not a bad state to be in, honestly. Deliver death upon it, Oboro! Show this Nidoran female the way in which you are supposed to fight. Attack! Attack more! And holy crap! Oboro, you did good. Man, I kind of wish I'd been able to just put that all on one Pokemon. Ah, sure. I'm fine just handing it out randomly. I mean, yeah, I could actually, uh, hmm. If I hear anything interesting, that has some promise. Actually, let's take a peek. What is over this way? Hmm. Battle. Ekans. Hmm, that's cool. Okay, yeah, and Sega's safe enough. Even with Intimidate and Paralyze, I'm really not worried. Because, uh, all the attacks the Ekans has are not very effective. Now, well, Sega resists all of them. Poison Sting. One damage. Tackle. Quarter health. Yeah, drop my... Yeah, sure, go ahead, do that. It's, um, not gonna be helping too much. Alright, that's actually starting to... 
Yeah, that might actually get into a territory where it starts doing some. Ooh, rat. Alright. Still doing one point of damage. Of course, in this generation, rap. Yes! Level 8, Sega. Excellent. Ooh, rock polish. <laughs> That's always an amusing thing. Thing for a rock type to learn. My Pokemon freshly cut. Hmm. Yeah, Sega's not staying in against this. Hmm. Ben, if you would please, I need you to deal with uh, some things. And that that polywag looks a little um confused or something. No, no, we don't want to use water bite. We want to oh, huh. water bite. No, water gun. Water sport, which dampens fire. Okay, why, why are you doing that? I am being very confused here. Um, hmm, another polywag. Honestly, yeah, there's not much to worry about. Onwards. Onwards, I say. No, oh, yeah, this is probably gonna be it for the night. Hey. I almost did the wrong thing, and that would have been fatal. And that's why I'm calling it for the night, because holy crap, if I'm making those mistakes... Uh, yeah, those are not mistakes that one should make in a Nuzlocke. I mean, it'd have been annoying in a regular game of Pokemon in Nuzlocke, that would have been devastating. Why are you using Bubble on a Water-type Poliwag? I mean, yeah, I know the AI you're working with ain't great. Okay, seriously, Hypnosis has ridiculous accuracy in this gen still. This is really annoying. Are you hoping for a critical? Because that's about the only way you're actually going to get through my defenses. The inherent resistance is just too much. Now, if that was Rain Dance, I'd actually worry. But no, it isn't Rain Dance. It's Water Sport, which weakens fire-type attacks. And I wouldn't put a fire-type in against the water-type, because water has a advantage over fire. Nice, Sika is now level nine. Row, my dear, row. Okay. Nice. You know what? One more. This is the last one. I swear this is the last one. Wow, this is easily the longest episode I've recorded of this series. Wait, Magikarp? Sega, you got this. It's a Magikarp. I can... Its threat level is... Wait, there, there's a threat? There can be a threat? It can have a threat? At level five, it is no threat whatsoever. Because that's all it can do. All it can do is splash. Hmm. Sega, please. Defeat it. Oh, yeah. A uh, fun little thing they did. Which is easy to overlook. You may notice that one of my Pokeballs is wiggling. There's a reason for that. That is actually an indicator that that particular Pokemon is close to leveling up. Hard part here is, well... My main goal is to level up Sega. I want to get her to 10. Then it's time to switch Gigax in. And yeah, it just kind of goes from there, honestly. Hey, get them both to 10, possibly 12. 
But that's going to be off screen, because, yeah, doing grindy on screen's kind of boring. There was a smidge of that in the beginning. Though, man, I'm actually kind of grateful I stuck around and fighting through this one, because, you know what, it's just amusing. Oh, hey, that's a level 15 magic heart. Its threat level has risen to, um, uh, what was that? Point 25. Zero point two five. And honestly, I'm being really, really generous. Oh, who am I kidding? Its threat level to see is about point zero five now. It could potentially attack with tackle. And I would need to just be whiffing on so many attacks for it to actually amount to anything really, really big. Yeah. It would have to be in a truly epic critical. Because right now it's just doing one damage. One. You know, if it criticals, then it does like maybe five, I guess? It's kind of hard to say. Because it, it keeps the modifiers, if any, that the Magikarp has. It ignores the ones that Sega would have, which there aren't any in play, frankly. Oh, another Magikarp, huh? Sega's right there, right at ten! Ooh. Hmm. I just... Aww. There's a massive pitfall to things. Hmm. I need to figure something out now. I have a plan. Alright. That plan will help a lot. Because, uh... Sega... Right now is kind of a mixed bag. A mixed blessing. Because Geodude and Graveler are awesome. But, you know, Sega's true potential as a golem... Well, I gotta trade her. <laughs> I'll make that work. And we'll find a way to make that work, dang it. Alright, well... That was a nice little go. Any rate, this has been Zyderose for Game Shampoo. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this especially long episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications and keep up to date on all the news and Let's Plays that we do here on Game Shampoo. Take care and I'll see you later. Have a good night.